Welcome to Chandapatna, Karnataka's very own toy town. Did you know that residents here have been making toys for a living for nearly 200 years? This is the story of a town with a curious obsession. Chandapatna, which is located on the Bengaluru Mysuru Highway, is the toy capital of Karnataka. In most streets here, you can spot people building and assembling wooden toys in the comfort of their homes. Chandapatna has got a delightful moniker. Gombeya Uru or the land of toys. Several tales of how Chandapatna's people became master toy makers still float around. Among them, the legend of Tipu Sultan, Tiger of Mysore, and how he introduced toy making in this town remains a favorite. In the 18th century, when Tipu ruled over the Deccan from Sri Rangapatna, a foreign guest is said to have arrived at his darbar bearing gifts. These gifts were beautifully painted shiny wooden dolls brought all the way from Persia. Delighted by these dolls, Tipu is said to have immediately asked his guest to get Persian artisans to teach his people toy making. From the 18th century to date, not much has changed with regards to the ingredients of a Chandapatna toy. Wood from the Raitya Tinctoria tree or Hale Mara in Kannada is used to craft the toys. Once the wood is shaped, colored lac is used to paint the toys. The lac gives these toys a shiny finish. Natural colors such as indigo, kumkum, turmeric and vegetable dyes are still used to paint the toys, making them 100% child friendly. After they are painted, the toys are polished with screw pine leaves to make them smooth. For Devarajan and his family, toy making is the only source of income. One month now, a giant wheel ready made. There, on the two hundred piece ready made. There, two hundred piece agat. That is now more than a series. More than a worker sin da. Two hundred piece agat. There, on the month here. Now, only a hundred jo na no wall sale put putte. On the piece so two hundred eighty. On the piece putte be. Idhe government rate le le. Only yen ka andrak marta re. Five hundred sixty. For decades, artisans made traditional toy designs such as basic dolls and bangles. But this became unsustainable over the last few decades as the market for Chandapatna toys plummeted. Fifteen years ago, the number of artisans engaged in toy making in Chandapatna were around 5,000. Today, this number has dwindled down to less than 1,000. Um, why they are not finding it viable? There are many reasons. You know, uh, one thing is like you know uh, they have uh, problem with the raw material. You know. They're, Day by day, cost of raw material is going up, and uh, they can't sell their product for you know higher price. Increasing aspirations, people's aspirations, you know, or want to work with you know uh, with computer, you know, with a nice office, and, and uh, parents want their children to become engineer, doctor, and you know things like that. Perhaps one of the biggest changes which crushed this indigenous toy industry was the influx of cheap Chinese wooden toys in the early 2000s. So, uh, for example, we have a top, a string top, wooden top, uh, which we sell it for 150 bucks. Uh, but the same top in plastic, China will sell it for uh, 15 to 20 rupees. Okay? It has the same functionality, only you know, look and feel is different. Sometimes look will also be similar um, and same function, um, but almost like you know, 200, 300 percent of price difference. So because of that, you know, people are not able to sell China, uh, China Patna product. So China product hits, uh, you know, artisans very badly. On the brink of extinction, it took many organizations to pitch in to slowly revive the industry and ensure that artisans got a minimum wage. Maya Organics, a venture focused on manufacturing Channa Patna toys, has a small factory unit here where they make over 100 different varieties of toys. The company makes it a point to train more women in the art of wood crafting and toy making and eventually inducting them. 
uh, and this lacquerware craft is like a male dominant craft and uh, where a lot of women uh, men are working and there is uh, very very minimum opportunity for the women to learn and continue with this craft these organizations have been focusing on new and trendy designs to increase exports despite revival measures manufacturers believe that chanpatna toys will go extinct in the next two decades unless serious intervention is made to boost this industry the only way to support this ancient industry is to buy more of these toys over machine made ones reporting for the news minute this is shridevi jayarajan from chanpatna